Sometimes people ask me, how can I return the names of files in a specific folder? Well, there are different options in this, uh, in this scenario, and one of them is to use VBA so that you can read the contents of a folder, and then you can return the names of each file in that specific folder. So let's start here by uh, saving um, this workbook. I'll save in my computer and I'll save this uh, for deletion and I'll call it uh, book one and I have to save it as uh, macro enabled. Now once you save it I'm not using in this particular case VBA but I will be using an Excel for macro. Now Excel for macros uh, will give you functions that you can use to perform several actions but these functions you won't be able to use directly on a worksheet otherwise you get an error. But you can create a name and use this function in this name and then you can use the name you created in order to uh, perform the action you want. So let's go here to formula and we're going to create a name and let's call this name file name and it refers to the Excel for macro called files. We can click now OK and we go now into uh, any specific cell and then let's use the index function and for the array we're going to use the uh, name we have just created which is file name and then for the roll number we're going to use the roll function and it will return the roll number so we just press enter and then we have book one XLMs. if you click on the fill handle and then drag it down then you start filling in the uh, other cells with the uh, file names in that folder so in this case I have all these files and you can carry on dragging it further down and you get more and more files which are inside this folder so as you can see it's a very sort of simple way that you can return a file name without actually even using uh, VBA in order to perform this action so I hope you have enjoyed uh, this little tip so until next time, my name is Robert.